name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we wait and pray for the Holy Spirit to descend upon us and fill us. Christianity is not a religion of commandments and prohibitions, of do's and don'ts. This is a celebration of the power of the Holy Spirit. And so at the end of the life of Jesus on earth in the Last Supper. Jesus told the disciples at length how they should be waiting and praying for the Holy Spirit before ascending to the Father. This is the command Jesus gave them. Wait and pray until you are clothed with power from above. We need to make our whole life a waiting and praying. We cannot become self-sufficient. We need to be waiting, opening our heart for the descent of the Holy Spirit into us. Our life then becomes filled and led by the Holy Spirit. Let's keep our hands open in front of us, asking God to change us. Change us from all thoughts of self-sufficiency, all thoughts of adamant self-reliance, to total commitment to God, waiting and praying for the Holy Spirit. Let us sing together, Change My Heart, O Lord. Change my heart, O Lord. Make it ever Change my heart, O Lord. May I be like you. Change my heart, O Lord. Make it ever new. Change my heart, O
Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, our Lord and Master, we praise you for your assurance that you would not leave us alone. Knowing this afresh with your power from above, that we may be able to be filled and led by your Spirit in every decision that we make, in every relationship that we live, in everything that we do. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs appearing to them during forty days and speaking of the kingdom of God and while staying with them he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the Father which he said you heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yahweh, I know you are me. You hold me 
Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 39 to 50. During those days, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of the courier and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The mighty one has done great things for me. And holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear Him. 
the gospel of the lord praise be to lord jesus christ let us sing together sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church oh god for the praise and glory of your name for our good and for our salvation for the salvation of the whole world we offer ourselves to you together with the bread and wine anoint us with the holy spirit and send us forth as witnesses as ambassadors let's be able to usher in your kingdom in the hearts of everyone around in the midst of every culture every society every family that your name may be glorified that your kingdom may come that your will may be done on this earth We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name. as we remember the blessed virgin mary for by the overshadowing of the holy spirit she conceived your only begotten son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim
indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith is Christ is the Christ is risen Christ will come for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her into the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and our bishop here and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints that pleased you through the throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen my dear sisters and brothers we have great confidence in the love of our heavenly father with that confidence firm in our hearts Let's all raise our hands up to him and pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will. Give us our sin, as we forgive those who sin. 
pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Dear Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace and love. sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof. but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. for the final prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great promise that the Holy Spirit would come and fill us. Give us the grace to change our lives. Change our lives so radically that we may be able to wait. Wait in prayer, opening our hearts for your Spirit to come and fill us and lead us. We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your Lord spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God.